Hey guys, so happy 2015. I know I'm so late. So new year, new changes. I don't know if you can see, but I have a new bed. I got a new tripod and I'm planning on getting a new camera for you guys. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. I don't, I don't feel like I'm talking very loudly. Um, so yeah, today is December, December, January 17th. Um, so yeah, this is my first video of the year and I was promising, like I didn't know what to film so if you guys have any suggestions on filming ideas and stuff so that I can upload more frequently and have more ideas but I have some written down on my phone. But today's video is my very frequent um, products I've used up and this has been since December, November, December. And up until now, up until yesterday, so these are my empties. The first thing is a mouthwash, just a normal mouthwash, Colgate mouthwash. I use mouthwash. Um, yeah. Next I have this, a Mathe Motorwork Citrus Orchid Chill. I love this scent. It smells like candy. And it smells awesome. And I've had this since... Um, summer, last summer, so yeah, I loved it, and it's just a normal body wash. I have this Bath & Body Works candle in hot buttered rum. I like it, but it doesn't have a very strong scent, so it's just a subtle scent that you feel when you just walk in your room. You, you feel a scent, but then it doesn't like linger on. I think I have another candle, yes I do, and this is one of my favorite candles from like the holiday traditions and stuff. This is the caramel, cinnamon caramel swirl, and it smells like heaven and caramel. And yeah, everything you want in life. Next, I have some cotton squares, like the normal Top Care one brand. And yeah, I use cotton squares for makeup, for everything, for my toner and stuff. So yeah, I just hit myself. Next, I have, wow, I have a lot of stuff in here. I don't remember. Um, next I have my Quenched Sea Mineral Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, which these are the Organic brand. Um, I really like these. These, um, the smell, you kind of got used to it afterwards, but it smells really good. And it's this type of, like, this type of brand makes your hair feel awesome, and it's awesome. But the thing is that it's a little pricey for being a drugstore product, but I love it. And, yeah, that's the shampoo. And, yeah. So I loved it and I also love the packaging and the color of this. Why am I throwing things on the ground? Next I have, this is very old, my Skin Timid Nourishing Hyd like Shaving Gel in Strawberry Tangerine Twist. Normal Skin Timid, I've never like tried Skin Timid and you, you always see like beauty gurus talking about Skin Timid and everybody talks about Skin Timid. And um, when I used it the first time, it was like amazing. It smells awesome, and it just leaves your your skin feeling, your legs feeling really soft and silky and moisturized with this. Next, I have just a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. This is Coastal Surf and Sun, which just smells very, very summery. It smells very summery. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I'm the am I, if I'm in the frame. Okay. Yeah, and it smells really good. I just have a tracer because, you know, girls don't like to Next, I have this Studio 35 Beauty Facial Cleansing Towelette, which these are like the Walgreens brand. I didn't like these. These were dry. They were like, I couldn't like take off my mascara or eye makeup off with these. I had to buy another product for that. And I like my... I like to do things very quickly and easily because I'm lazy so I didn't like these they were dry for me because I like them very wet and moist next I have the Murad like acne combo trio pack it's a quad because I have another product this is just a try kit for the acne um, products for from Murad so this is the cleanse the clarifying cleanser clarifying um, I like this cleanser. I like the, the tingling it left on my skin because it's very minty. And yeah, I just love it. And I and it has salicylic acid, so I like that. Then it, then the second step is the acne clearing solution, 
which I liked this because like I felt that this was doing something to my skin and then the other, another this, this is the treat repair this is step two another step two is the spot treatment but I still have that I haven't done done with it I'm not done with it and then I have the hydrate and protect the Murad oil control mattifier SPF 15 and I loved this thing this is so amazing I am so I have such oily skin and I just loved this it made my skin matte and it made my makeup last longer when I use this in the morning so yeah I loved this um, moisturizer and I would buy it again if I could if I get the chance to buy it again um, I'm finished almost next I have some CVS products this is the CVS oil free acne cleanser which is compared to the ingredients in Neutrogena oil free acne wash cream cleanser so it's this cleanser right here I liked it um, I don't like it when it's not very when it doesn't lather up but I liked it nonetheless and it's just amazing um, just an acne cleanser and I like switching up my acne products every time I finish with I'm finished with one I almost um, threw this to the ground then this is the CVS deep cleansing estrogen compared to the clean and clear sensitive skin cleansing estrogen um, I don't remember how I feel about this um yeah now I, I remember this scent I loved this this is super awesome it didn't make my it didn't make my skin like feel irritated and it also it smells awesome so yeah thumbs up for this little guy um next I have this clear clinic like vanished Clear spot treatment. This is this little tube here. I got this from Ipsy like a while back ago, like more than three or four months ago. And it was just like a little um, liquid, and it was awesome. The thing is, it's very, it was very strong. You felt it like doing something, but it also it it made it very dry, just like the Murad acne spot treatment. It made my it, it, right now I'm using it, and it dries out your skin really easily. So just so you just have to put it on the spot that you want um, to get rid of. Next, I have this like um, this the Body Shop Body Butter. This is like the tester from this is the tester, and this is in the strawberry scent. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is the most amazing scent and the most amazing like body butter. It's just awesome. So I have this, I got rid of, I got through this like in two or three weeks and now I have the big tub because it's just amazing and I love it and I would repurchase this if, if I ever want to because it's awesome. And next I have the very talked about, very raved here on YouTube. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Day 5 with a 301 cover foundation in the color, I don't know because I ripped the backing off, but it's in 825 and this is my foundation you guys. Um, at first, I thought that, wow, this is the best foundation ever, um, but it was the first foundation I've ever tried, so, you know. Um, I liked it. I liked the coverage of it, but it felt really cakey, it, and it also, it was, I felt that oxidized quickly, I mean, throughout the day, it oxidized on my skin. So, yeah, I liked it. I don't know if this is the right shade for me. I don't know what my shade is supposed to be but when i finished with another foundation that i have right now i'm going to try out the new maybelline prime and Pore i mean poreless and matte whatever the maybelline fit me foundation the new one that just came out and i am totally obsessed with it even though i haven't tried it but i know i'm gonna love it so yeah this is this foundation and that was all for this video hope you guys liked it give this video a thumbs up if you did and thanks for watching and i hope to hear from you guys soon and comment down below whatever you want like comment suggestions comment like tell me what do you guys want to see from me tell me yeah that's it so thanks for watching bye guys